Okay. Okay. It's going to be great weather this weekend. Of course, it's Memorial Day weekend, right. and of course, we have the big race. That's right. We sure do, Joe. So Jim. let's get to it here because guess what? Just talked about it. We are days away from what has been decades, or has been known for decades, mm -hmm. as the greatest spectacle in racing, and it takes place just a few hours north of the dry state. That's right. On Sunday, 33 of the fastest and bravest drivers to ever set foot and wheel on a racetrack will take the green flag for the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500. Now, the city is already, of course, gearing up for yeah. the big race, and over the weekend, the field was set, so guess what? We don't have that coveted pole position, mm -hmm. but before the green flag can wave, there are a few other big events to build excitement for race day, including the 500 Festival Parade, which happens on Saturday. Got some great footage there of previous races. And this morning, we are helping you get ready for race day, of course. We are thrilled to have with us today one of the greats. He is the defending IndyCar Series champion and will start on the 12th on Sunday. So joining us live over Zoom, Will, he was, there he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> will, you disappeared you for a second. So good morning to you, Will. Good morning. How are you? Great. Good to have you with us. We appreciate you Good. taking time to be with us today. So we imagine the entire month of May, it must really be nothing but a blur. We, we've got a lot of prep, got a lot of interviews and a lot to work through. So what's that month like beforehand? Um, it's pretty stressful, to be honest. Uh, you know, when you, you go to practice and you actually start with the Grand Prix on the road course, but then you go through practice and you have qualifying weekend which i would say is one of the most stressful weekends of the year um having to do those runs at 230 mile an hour averages you get up to like 240 so um pretty daunting but uh, uh an incredible track an incredible event so it's really uh, really great to be a part of it so, Will, I want to talk about you now for a second here because two-time champion of the series, including last year, uh, you won um, back in 2018. So what's it like there to, to stand in victory circle and, of course, drink that milk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's, uh, it is something, something special. It really is. It's, uh, you know, you have a lot of pressure on you. Um, from especially the team that I drove for Penske with, with so many wins there, you're expected to win. So um, an amazing day that I'll never forget winning that, winning that race and the amount of people at the event, uh, really perfect sunny day and getting to go on a victory lane. Just, uh, I just, I would love to do it again. It's such a, uh, you know, you feel good for the, for the, for the next 12 months until you get back there. And maybe you will. Hopefully you will. Yeah, right. Now walk us through a typical race day. What time do you get up and what do you do throughout the morning and, and afternoon until you climb into the car? Yeah, race day, you, um, if you can sleep, <laughs> you try <laughs> sleeping a little bit. Uh, I think the, I want to say the race starts at noon, so you don't have to sit around all nervous for too long. Um, but yeah, you don't, the team gives you your space. You don't have to do too many. You don't have to do any appearances. Actually, you just uh, you just you're just waiting. Actually, nervously waiting to, to get in the car. Once you're in the car, um, yeah, you you, you sort of you you shut everything out. All the people, everything. You just okay. Now it's down to business. Let's. Uh, I just you kind of can't wait for the engine to start and just get get rolling because. I have to say the nerves before this race are like no other. I, I don't know whether it's the pressure or the, the size of the event or the fact that it's so fast and dangerous, but um, I, think, I don't think any driver is feeling real comfortable sitting in that green room before you go out. So, Will, I'm curious. I mean, you just mentioned how dangerous and stuff mm -hmm. this is. How did you get started in racing and, and make you want to do this? I started in go-karts when I was about six years old. Like, I would say most of the field, that is the case. And uh, my father raced some open-wheel cars, but not, not as a professional back in Australia. And um, I, I wanted to be in IndyCar or Formula One, and that was my dream, and it actually happened. So uh, a lot of hard work and many different series on the way through, different uh, okay. racing series to get here. but. Uh, yeah, and I feel so fortunate to have this as a career uh, and the team that I drive for. It's an amazing, amazing, I've been lucky, been really lucky. 
Now, obviously, and you mentioned this, the, the name of the game is, is speed, of course. Sometimes the difference between losing and winning in, in a lot of races, particularly this one, comes down to thousands of a second. So how do you perceive that as a driver? How do you work through that? Yeah, I mean, we look at the smallest of details with all the data that's available, the video. We have a thing called Dartfish where, the, you, you know, there's a film that from someone sitting in the stands films the fastest car and they put a shadow car, your shadow car over that so you can see the exact line, like, uh, and the, the, the details on the cars are, it'll blow your mind the amount of work that they do on, um, you know, gearboxes, gearbox oils, wheel bearings, any little, even the decals on the car are inset so you can't even feel them if you rub your hand over them, anything to gain the smallest amount of speed. Um, you know, you just they, everyone builds a special car for this race because every little detail on the car matters. Anything to make it go faster through the air. Uh, so there is a ton of detail, a ton of work that goes into making these cars run fast. So, Will, you've won twice. Uh, what's what's your goal? How are you going to get it to where you can be winning up to four times, uh, <laughs> like Al Unzer did, AJ Hoyt, and and the others? Uh, yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, I don't know. I won once actually. I won the IndyCar Championship twice, but uh, I, uh, yeah, that's. Oh man, you never know. I, if I win this year, then you're starting to look at how do I get a third. So. <laughs> um, it would be amazing just to have two. Like, to win one is really cool. So, you know, Elio was my teammate, and uh, I just can't imagine having those four, four Indy 500 wins. He's, 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 he's done well around the, around Indianapolis. But, yeah, get the big ones, the first one, get that mm -hmm. you know, big weight <laughs> off your shoulders so you got one. But, uh, yeah, you won. It's, like I said, an amazing experience to win one of these. A very prestigious race. It's been around for more than 100 years, so uh, be pretty cool to win another. <laughs> well, we wish you the best, of course, and it's certainly shaping up to be a great weekend at the track, and the weather seems to be looking very nice, so best of luck to you. You don't need it. You'll be great, and the other 32 <laughs> drivers as well. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.